Hi Pick and Mixers. First let me say Happy New Year to you. Here we are in January 2021 and it's really good to see you. Have you taken your decorations down? Probably by now. Um, we took ours down on New Year's Day, <laughs> which was perhaps a bit soon. Um, and I don't know about you, but I love all the different lights. So we've got lights in, well, we did have lights in the house everywhere and lights outside the house. And uh, just one of the things um, that we had outside the house in the back garden was this rather tragic looking reindeer. And um, he looked very pretty when he was all switched on. And unfortunately, something's happened, David, look. He's, um, he's broken, so I'm gonna have to fix him. Um, but he was a very sweet reindeer and uh, I, just, I just love all those lights. Anyway, so I'll have to fix him. But he doesn't look very good now, does he? And so apart from being broken, of course, it's because it's it's daylight now and it the light looks nice in the dark, doesn't it? Um, and I've got to put him away in the garage. So he was very sweet in December. Um, now, Jesus said this. He said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. So I thought over the next few weeks, um, I'll do little stories about Jesus that show us what Jesus is like. Because um, I'm sure you know loads of stories um, from the Bible and lots of stories about Jesus. But that's what I'm going to be doing. So over the next few Mondays, I just thought I'd do something about Jesus and what he is like. And one of the things he is like, he well, he is the light of the world. He's the light of the world. This poor old uh, reindeer has had it. Uh, but Jesus is the light of the world and it's lovely um, that Jesus said we don't have to walk in the dark if we follow him. So I thought I'd tell you a story that illustrates this and it's about a man called Bartimaeus. And Bartimaeus was blind, he couldn't see at all, he'd been born blind but he had a very very good hearing as you will see. Um, first of all I'll just show you the picture and then I'll show you again after. So that's a picture of Bartimaeus and there's lots of people around him and we'll find out why now. So along the road which was called Jericho Street there was a man and he sat and he waited. This was something that Bartimaeus had to do a lot. He had to wait and hope that people would bring him some money because that was the only way he could have gotten money. He couldn't go to work in those days. Perhaps somebody would put some money in his bowl. He had a, a begging bowl. But although Bartimaeus couldn't see, his hearing was sharp, really good hearing. And he could hear that people were talking about something. Oh, no, they're talking about somebody. Oh, they were talking about Jesus. He could hear that and he heard all about him. Jesus must be in the crowd that was on the way. He could hear all the hustle and bustle of a crowd. Well the people came nearer but there was very little chatter now because everyone was listening hard to what Jesus was saying. Now Bartimaeus was certain. He was sure of this one thing. He was sure that Jesus was God's promised Messiah, the true King. And he was determined to take this opportunity and ask Jesus to help him. So mustering all his strength, he shouted at the top of his voice, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. Oh, stop that noise, the people shouted back. We're trying to listen to Jesus. Shh! But Bartimaeus only shouted louder. Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And Jesus stopped. Call him here, he said. And the message was passed back through the crowd. Oh, send for Bartimaeus. Send for Bartimaeus. Jesus wants him. Well, eager hands soon helped Bartimaeus to his feet and tried to push him forward through the crowd. But Bartimaeus 
needed no prodding and prompting, and throwing off his clo cloak, he stumbled quickly forward in the direction of Jesus' voice. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus said. Lord, I want to be able to see, Bartimaeus answered at once. Well, you shall have what you've asked for, Jesus told him, because you've put your trust in me. Because you've put your trust in me, I have healed you and you can go home now. But Bartimaeus took one look at Jesus' face and knew he didn't want to go home. He can see now. Jesus has healed him. He's no longer blind. He can see. And he's looked at Jesus and he's thinking, I don't want to go home. Do you know what he was thinking? He was thinking, I want to follow Jesus. I want to follow you. And do you remember what Jesus said? I am the light of the world. He who follows me will no longer walk in darkness, but have the light of life. And so here are the crowd. There's Bartimaeus. And he's going to follow Jesus for the rest of his life. And he won't be in the darkness anymore. He will have Jesus to help him see. And that's true for all of us, um, whether we're blind or not. Um, Jesus uh, promises to look after us and if we follow him, he'll walk with us, which is good to know, isn't it? So I hope you've enjoyed that story that shows us that Jesus is the light of the world. And I wish you well for the coming week. Uh, we'll just do a little prayer. And, um, so, Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus, who is the light of the world. We thank you that that's what he's like. And we thank you, Lord, that we can know Jesus' light in our hearts and in our lives and in everything that we do if we're trusting in him. Give us that same trust that Bartimaeus had. Amen. So thank you very much for joining me today. I wonder what I'll do next week. I'll have a think about that. I hope you're all well and I do wish you once again a very happy new year. Bye-bye now. Take care. Bye-bye.